Basically, uh, anytime someone turns on a Source 4 in this theater, either I or someone who, who works with me will be around to make sure that we represent ourselves the best we can. Hi, I'm Dan Montano. I'm the lighting super. The role of the lighting supervisor, at least in, the, uh, in this theater, is basically to facilitate the, the, the lighting designs um, for any one of our uh, uh, main stage shows, any one of the um, uh, shows that we do in our black box theater. Uh, any rentals that may also come along, any uh, educational shows. Um, but I think the most, um, the most important part, though, is, is to really be the, the facilitator of, uh, of the design and to work with the designer and make sure that, uh, that they have everything they need as far as the nuts and bolts uh, of what we can give them in this theater to make their design a success and to work within the framework of the play. I'm actually a recovering actor and I spent a lot of time around the theater. Allow me to demonstrate. Oh, what do we have here? Better than the original. So I had some background. I had run some lights in, in college, and, um, but that was a while ago. But, but I came here to work as a carpenter uh, with my neighbor, which was for a job that was supposed to be 10 days. And um, they asked me to stay and, and run the rail for a show. And I stayed for a build. And um, I saw an opportunity here, so I, I tried to learn as much as I could. I came in when the theater was dark, and uh, I learned as much as I could about the equipment. <clears throat> We're fortunate enough here to work with uh, uh, designers um, over and over again uh, a lot of times, and sometimes there are new designers. I'll generally be at one of the first production meetings um, that really for me is more of a meet and greet. Those meetings tend to be more about the design of the show. Uh, and that's not something that I have a lot of input with, uh, input towards. I, I'm more of a nuts and bolts guy. So I don't start to get involved um, with the lighting, especially um, until a little bit further down, down the line. Um, at some point, there'll, there'll be a plot due, and I'll, and I'll work with them uh, if, if they haven't been here before. Uh, they'll come and do a walkthrough, and, and, and we'll talk about hanging positions and, and places they can put lights. And um, I'll get them an inventory, um, and they'll get back to me with a plot, and that's when I basically take over. <laughs> Lighting designers have come with a lot of crazy I, I don't want to say that they're crazy ideas. They're, they're creative ideas, and, and sometimes they work phenomenally well. Um, we were lucky enough last year when we did Your Good Man Charlie Brown, and there's a big production number where Snoopy's doghouse rolls forward and the stairs come out, and the director said, wow, wouldn't it be great if, if when he stepped on those stairs they would light up? And we said, how are we going to do this? This is crazy. There's no way we would need remote control DMX devices and we would need all this stuff that we don't have the budget for. But we knew someone who was tinkering with these LEDs. He, he came and did it for far less than what it was worth and loaned us the stuff. And it was a phenomenal scene and it brought the house down every time. Today was a very kind of a simple day for us. We're, we're simply just striking uh, the plot that was uh, here from the last show. The tech crew and the carpenters got this set out the other day, and we got our lights down, and, and we're going to get organized for the lighting hang tomorrow. Uh, we're going to make sure that the instruments have the right lenses and we have what we need, and, um, and so we'll, we'll hang tomorrow. Once we get into the tech process, you know, it's a pretty much uh, um, 12 to 14 hour days for, 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 you know, a good week or so. And so we'll be in this, we'll be in this theater for, for many, many hours. Uh, uh, you're all in it together. So, uh, we'll get here, we'll get here early in the morning. We'll fix the things that didn't work the night before. We'll start to work through the show. And that's when, uh, actors are on stage and, 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 uh, lights and sound and costumes when it's all going to come together. And, uh, it can be very, very slow at times. And, um, really in a nutshell, um, what, hap what happens during tech is uh, the lighting designer uh, will program the board through the lighting uh, board operator. M my assistant, uh, Melissa, uh, programs the light board and uh, runs the light board. And um, designers will spend a few minutes uh, telling her what, what instruments um, need to be at what intensity and where. And she'll program that and uh, making sure that he has the look that he wants. Once you start to run the show, then uh, the designers will kind of sit back. The, the stage manager will call the cues to the lighting booth, and, um, and then they'll, they'll just take the cues. It's, it's a matter of hitting a button when the stage manager says go. When I was acting, I, I, I wonder sometimes, um, 
how I came across to the technical crew. You know, I always hoped that I was nice and respectful and I wasn't one of those actors that they talked about when they turned their backs. Because I've walked in those shoes. And that first day when, when I know they're coming into the set, and one of the things I really like to do is look around and see, what is it, you know, I know I would kill myself on trying to rush to make that entrance or trip over. Or I, I think that anybody in any work situation, if you have some kind of, if you have knowledge of what that other person goes through, it, it's going to make the day go easier um, in, in the long run. I think what I love most about this job is that I'm constantly challenged. It can also be one of the things that's most tiring about this job as well, but it's always different. It's problem solving, it's puzzles, and it's, uh, it's gonna keep you on your toes, it keeps you, it keeps you thinking. At the end of the day, you can hopefully be proud that you were part of something that, that people took great pleasure in.